Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales and we are here with Lepa Swift and their pack, uh, their pups. Uh, we are going to try and get them safely across the river today and uh, hopefully all continues to go well. So far so good, nothing bad has happened yet. Um, you're not supposed to be walking towards the river. Um, let's not. I. Okay, let, let's put you right here. Please don't wander into the river. Stay, stay where you are, please. <laughs> the, the rest of your siblings are staying nice and far away. We're going to, uh, we're going to put them down here by you as well so that it's easier to get across. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to do our best to, uh, to make our way across the river here. And uh, just again, to, as a reminder, if you guys do not have Wolf Quest and you want the chance to win a Steam key for the game, uh, then you are in luck because we are currently running a contest. And uh, to, uh, to enter the contest, all you have to do is uh, be observant throughout the... Really? Thank you, Swift. That's not helpful. Um, all you have to do to enter the contest is be observant throughout the video, and you might notice something a little bit special, and if you do, uh, just go ahead and, uh, and answer it in the comments, and uh, then you will be entered it for a chance to, uh, to, to win a Wolf Quest Steam Key at the end of the month. But uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to feed everybody real fast here. And, uh, but yeah, I wanted to make sure you guys know about that. If you haven't, uh, just keep your eyes out. You probably won't, uh, if, if you're watching carefully, you won't, you won't miss it. And, uh, you guys will have the chance to win your very own copy of Wolf Quest. So, Geo is closest. We're gonna go ahead and grab Geo first, and we'll run across with him. So, we should be good. This is a pretty easy place. And once we get across, yep, it looks like, uh, Swift has already gone back for the others. We can kind of scooch Geo around this way if we line ourselves up properly just by running in a certain direction. And so we can kind of get across that way too while our stamina is recovering. In fact, I think we can do it even as we're walking here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do for long distances, but sometimes it helps. So let's go ahead and we'll grab Geo again and we'll run across. Now Swift should be carrying one of the other pups. And I think we should be okay with the crossing. I'm not too worried about it. Normally we can do okay here. And I fed everybody, so nobody should be too low on health. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I think so far so good. Everything seems fine. But we're just going to cross the river here. And, uh, <laughs> we did see the video come out yesterday, uh, right, well, it was after I recorded, but before the video released, and they actually were talking about how the emotes are gonna be a little bit more interactive, so, right now, if we do a tail wag here, the moment we start moving, it stops. Well, that's not necessarily the most realistic, I mean, uh, wolves can do two things at once, and so they talked a little bit more in the video about how they're gonna be changing that system to be a little bit more realistic. Um... Okay, the druids are back there. We should be good. Okay, they're keeping their distance. We're all right. So we'll let uh, we'll let Geo and Hare catch up to us here. The druids did not take our carcass. We should be good. Now, I think... Are you going to let us eat? There we go. It wasn't letting me eat for a moment there, and I think I was just not quite lined up properly. But, uh, okay, Geo is here. Hare is almost here. And we should be able to grab Fauna when Swift brings her across, and then we'll let Swift go back for Ren. We'll just keep these guys nice and close, and to keep an eye on them right here. Maybe growl back at the druids because uh, they're not very nice. <laughs> we don't want to have to. We don't want to have to deal with them. Uh, but they seem to be keeping their distance. It looks like a lot of uh, a lot of the the ones that have that uh, very specific to this pack, the uh, red head there. It looks like a lot of them are here, and then one of the darker colored wolves as well. Is that... Yeah, that's the dark colored wolf, I think, and not, not the brown colored one. We There is one brown wolf in the druid pack, it seems, and from time to time he shows up, and he kind of is of special significance to our playthrough here. So let's grab Fauna, and uh, make sure we run back to the others and keep everybody kind of nice and close together here. We'll go back to the carcass, and uh, we'll... Hopefully what I can do is um, to come over here, and then if we're far enough away, which I think we are, then we should see Swift go back and be able to... Um, and we should see Swift be able to bring Ren across and then run over to us here. So as long as we stay kind of close at this point... Um, 
Are you okay over there? You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna question it. This isn't our pack. It's not our business. Uh, if they're having problems, then oh well, that's their fault. Uh, we're not going to be messing with them right now. We just want to get our pups to safety. Now, I imagine doing this in Wolf Quest 3 will not be quite so straightforward because these guys will not be uh, just meant as a visual warning. They will actually... Um, they'll actually be able to come and attack us because the whole social interaction system is going to be completely changing in Wolf Quest 3. And so uh, if we see wolves like this in Wolf Quest 3, we're probably going to want to run the other direction because they will come after us. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy our, uh, our freedom to walk right by them like this while we can. That'll be one thing that will be getting a lot harder in uh, the next version of Wolf Quest. So if we're over here, Swift should put Ren down and then... Are you gonna go pick up Ren? Uh, looks like no, actually. Um, okay. So, can you go back and get Ren, please? That would be helpful. I don't think so, though. It looks like no such luck. All right, just, just, just abandon Ren. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right then. Uh. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. We'll make sure we finish eating here, uh, get our food up to full, and then we're going to set out for that very far carcass, and uh, hopefully everybody... Oh, there's a hair! There's one right here! Okay, can we get it? Oh, it's running this way. Not that we actually really need it, but uh, given that we're playing as Lepus, I feel like it's kind of fitting to, uh, to, to make sure we're at least taking them down, just in case uh, we happen to need that extra little bit of food. The good thing about hair carcasses is that they don't actually spawn ravens, I don't think, and so you don't actually have to worry about them uh, running out in the same way. Is it getting rainy, or is that just my imagination? I think it's just my imagination. I think actually I saw a leaf <laughs> is what happened. Uh, but we're gonna head across like this, so we should just be able to make our way this way. And hopefully all goes well. Hopefully nothing bad happens in these last, uh, last few minutes here, because uh, anything can happen, and a lot of the time it does. Strangely enough, even though we're playing on pretty easy, I really don't trust that, because for all the times we've played on pretty easy, that seems to be when the worst things happen. I don't really know why that is, but it's been a trend throughout all of our Wolf Quest series uh, that whenever we end up playing on pretty easy, most of the time it doesn't turn out to be pretty easy. Most of the time th these can be some of our most difficult runs, and so I don't know if that's going to be the case here. Sometimes it's more okay, but sometimes it can be really, really hard. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I don't really trust to that. For whatever reason, we seem to have very strange luck involving easy difficulty. Challenging is probably my favorite difficulty because it seems like the perfect balance of uh, not being too easy, but at the same time not being too terribly hard. You can still play through it and enjoy it without being overly stressed, but at the same time, it's not a walk in the park either. You really have to stay on your toes and be alert. Uh, but for the challenges, sometimes uh, it can be better to play on a certain difficulty. So, for example, with Lupus uh, not being able to uh, have a normal feeding system, it was kind of important that we didn't play on one of the harder difficulties, because otherwise we would have been in a bit of trouble with this, I think. And um, it would have been a lot harder to... It would have been a lot harder to actually be able to get this done. I think it would have been to the point where it might have been too challenging. So this gave us a reasonable chance, and we basically did exhaust our food supply. We did have to eat some of the hares that we managed to, to catch. But um, at the same time, it wasn't too brutally challenging. And so it was kind of a nice blend, I feel. I think I've, I've enjoyed this challenge, honestly. I really have. Um, oh, hey! <laughs> Speaking of... That worked out perfectly! Strangely enough, this never seems to happen with our other wolves. It really does seem to be uh, Lepus's, uh, Lepus's name, perhaps, seems to be drawing this, uh, this uncommon food source to us. So, uh, and Hare will be getting quite a, quite a good, a good education on how to, uh, to, how to hunt the prey she's named for. I imagine she's very swift and bouncy, much like a hare and uh, may go on to be a very a very good hair hunter herself someday, uh, assuming we can get her safely there. Um, 
she does seem to be a little bit a uh, little bit more energetic than her siblings and tends to wander off sometimes or at least she did at the beginning of this video so it's kind of interesting to see how the pups here develop their own personality and I think they will actually be getting more personality in the next uh, in the next version of the game in Wolf Quest 3 because uh, we're already you know we're seeing a personality system showing up in uh, the mates and the stranger wolves and the dispersals uh, they're gonna have a personality system and I imagine that could carry over to the pups too and uh, impact their behavior as well so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, how that works out we may end up uh, wanting to wait on naming the pups until we have a little bit of a better um, a better understanding of how uh, their personalities are I don't know it, it's gonna be interesting to see how that works out because we really have no info on Slough Creek and I don't know how much of Slough Creek has even been developed at this point uh, because right now the team is focusing on getting the core systems in place and once they have that foundation built and Amethyst Mountain is ready, that's when they're going to be moving into Slough Creek and figuring out more with that, I think. Uh, at least that's my understanding of it. Uh, because right now they're still just trying to get the foundation built. It's expanded so much since we first heard about it. I mean, originally it was just going to be a few new mechanics that would come with Tower Fall and that expanded into a whole new revamped version of the game. So it's come so far since they first started the project that uh, it, it makes sense for them to try and get the core built before they then progress into uh, completely uh, reworking the Slough Creek mission as well. So it'll be interesting to see how a lot of that uh, may play out um, and uh, what uh, what changes we'll be seeing to the, the already, uh, rather, already rather arduous uh, task of pup rearing. Um, it definitely is going to be changing. Okay, uh, my heart nearly stopped for a moment there. All right, wait for this guy to run, chase him down, chase him down, kind of try and keep him heading in a reasonable direction here. In fact, if we can bring him back towards the... Whoa, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, he's going to come back. He's going to turn around. We just need to run in and bite him one more time. There we go. All right. No, you don't need to bring Fauna. We're okay. We're good. We're good. I'm definitely looking forward to the mates being a little bit more proactive in uh, their interactions with other predators, too. Uh, or with the other animals because uh, that's something that's going to be played into or that's something that will pl the personality system will play into so uh, one of the traits is um, going to impact how likely a mate is to jump in and help but the fact that they can do that at all is definitely something I'm looking forward to because uh, well from what we've seen in the AI I think we've seen I believe they released a clip of one of the mates attacking an elk and um, already from that we saw, I think that was what, yeah, I believe that was, that we had that, right? <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I'm, if I'm just recalling the player wolf now. No, I'm pretty sure they had, they've released a clip of that. Um, and what we've already seen of that is a lot more, well, and what we've seen of the AI in general is a lot more responsiveness to the world around uh, the, the AIs react a lot more to the world around them, be it the stranger wolves, be it the uh, dispersals. Uh, they already interact much more with each other and with the world around them than they do here. I mean, right now, the mate kind of just focuses on maybe bringing a pup or feeding a pup here and there and really doesn't do anything else. And if anything, is rather unaware of the world around them. So, like in the situations where you have to fight a bear or whatnot, one of the biggest problems we've had with the bears and the cougars on this mission is due to the fact that the mates will often try to bring pups right to you as you're trying to fight. There's just not any awareness at all in the AI. It doesn't account for the fact that you're you're fighting a predator at the time and don't want to have the pups right there. Whereas what we've already seen of that interactivity um, between the uh, between the, the the AIs and the rest of the world. It's been incredible to see how much that is already uh, working into the game because that's going to change a lot. Uh, hopefully that will mean that the mates will be a lot better at ac actually reacting to the situation and not following the same kind of, oh, I'm going to bring a pup to you all the time, even if that might not be the best course of action. And with the new ways of communicating, such as uh, we saw, um, I believe we saw an alarm bark emote. I imagine with, what am I hearing? I hear hunting music. 
What's happening? Oh, it's a fox. Okay. I, <laughs> that music is always... It's a little bit worrisome because... Um, sometimes it actually means that there is... Um, that there is a coyote spawning, so we have to be kind of careful with that. But that fox is off minding his own business. We're going to ignore him, and uh, he's probably going to ignore us, so... <laughs> but yeah, so just how we've already seen how the AI is so much more responsive, or even in uh, even in the hunting, how the elk react to the environment, it's just such a more detailed... It's just such a more detailed AI than it is here. Um, it's gonna help a lot because hopefully then the mates will actually be able to have a better grasp of a situation and be like, oh, there's a bear right there. I shouldn't be bringing pups over to you. Maybe I should help fight or maybe I should keep the pups at a safe distance. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of that actually being a thing rather than the mate constantly being um, being on uh, keep the pups close to my mate, keep the keep the pups well fed ra rather than it just being restricted to those two things. Hopefully we'll see the mate being able to kind of assess and respond to situations on their own because uh, that that would be a big help here. Now that's not to say that Swift here hasn't been a good mate, but I'm definitely looking uh, looking forward to uh, the mates getting even that much uh, more smarter and uh, more able to react to what's happening. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it because I know we've had some issues in the past with the way this AI has worked. Now, granted, if you compare this to the 2.5 AI, there, there is no comparison. 2.7 has made the mates so much better than 2.5, um, but uh, Wolf Quest 3 is going to take it even to the next level, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. So let's keep it moving. We're going to head just up this hill. That's the rendezvous site right ahead of us, and we are nearly there. So uh, I'm definitely thankful to see us getting this close. I think uh, we're probably, we probably should be able to make it at this point, although I probably shouldn't have said that out loud because, you know what, that's when bad things happen. Whenever I make a comment like that, something happens, and it's at the last minute, and it's dramatic and tragic, and bad things happen, so yeah, I'm sorry if I have jinxed it, but uh, for all intents and purposes, we've made it this far, and uh, there's only a few steps farther, so come on, Lepus, lead your family on, we're nearly there. All right. Yes, we've reached the rendezvous site. Here we go. So Swift is about to join us. Come on. Here we go. Swift is here. All right, let's step back so the pups will join us. Geo, Fauna, Hare, and Bren, they're all here. So we made it. I didn't jinx us after all. We're okay. And Lepus and Swift will be able to go on with their family. And uh, they'll start training the pups to hunt. And uh, hopefully this family will continue go on and do as well as they have up until this point. So Leap has completed his challenge. His goal was to get his pups safely to the rendezvous site, even with the caveat of not being able to hunt that many elk. And he's done it. So uh, he has earned, I believe it's uh, actually a hair-based perk that he's earned. Hair or hunting, I can't quite remember. Something like that uh, for Wolf Quest 3. How will that play out? We don't know yet, but uh, I will be announcing more details of that once we actually get into uh, Wolf Quest 3. So for now, though, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here. So keep your eyes out for another poll. Be, I'll be hopefully releasing that over the weekend, and uh, you guys will have the chance to vote on which wolf you want to follow in our next side story. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this this is Jay, over and out.